All right, guys, gonna be an update um, on the. Not really. You guys haven't seen this thing yet. I mean, I had 106 views in my last video, but uh, I kind of went off on some people, and I kind of put out a bad reputation. Um, so I, I deleted that video because uh, you know I don't want to look like a dick to anyone. I'm not. I'm not a dick. Uh, and in person or not over the internet either. Just when uh, I get like riled up and everyone's talking crap, uh, I kind of go nuts and start talking shit. So I don't really want that to, uh, to be a habit and I don't want to do anything. But here's an update uh, from my boy John and uh, just showing you guys the boa. Still didn't shred yet, show it tomorrow. Just went on a blue. But uh, here's this dinker. That uh, we produced. I bred my uh, my boy John's girl to uh, my man. We produced his weird ass. He's got like the head blushing and all this like weird like vanilla Mojave shit going on. All white belly, you know. I don't know what it is. Could be just a real nice looking normal, and it could be something weird. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe uh. Looks more like a, uh, a, uh, what the hell am I thinking of? A het, a het white diamond. Got the pattern in this thing. I'll compare them to a uh, normal. My friend, my boy, Athena, is at, uh, where I work right now. She's, pre she's pregnant right now, actually. So, let's look at that difference. And that's his male too. But I'm just giving it to him because I don't want it. Possible hot pied. Um, but here's the boa down here. Here's the shell. Just sprayed him down. Struck him in a couple times, but he's cool. Nice and warm. Grab the tempkin. See what it says. I don't even think I'm going to use the aspen anymore. I got this huge bag. But actually, it's. Up on top, it's making the heat, um, it's making it not as hot because it's another layer for the heat to go through. He is 90 degrees. The snake is 89.5 degrees by itself. Let's see, dude. Come on, let's go. He's pretty skinny, yes, I know. I um, only had him for three days, guys. I'm waiting until he gets out of shed, and then I don't know how he'll be pounding down me and large rats. He looks nice though. He's a nice looking uh, red tail. You got that nice tail back there. I don't want to get nailed. I've been getting a lot worse though. I got nailed by an 8 foot bow at work. Um, and I got nailed by a 6 foot freaking Burmese python. Um, but that was a feeding response bite. That was a couple years ago. And I still have marks on my hand right there. You can see that a little bit. I'd get nine stitches in my hand. Here he is. He's a cool guy. I'm glad to have a boa, finally. I have a lot of experience with boas. I had them before. Had an annery. Um, had an albino though when I was younger. But I had an anery and a nice big female on like 8 foot recently. Um, I got out of boas though, but I want to get back into them just because my friend Jim, uh, not yellow reptile, but another friend that has an 18 foot burn, got a, uh, a jungle boa and that just caught my eye. So, uh, here's this girl's and uh, shout out to my friend John, how we making YouTube videos. He's got a real nice retic, badass retic, and uh, he's got some other cool reptiles. He's got some nice boa constrictors, and he'll be getting more. Um, we're gonna be friggin' <laughs> turning his house into a big reptile free for all. So this guy's got some like weird, like speckling, like granite speckling around all over his body. So I don't know if that means anything. Um, I obviously know the boa morphs because I work at a reptile shop and they got over like 500 reptiles there. They breed them. I'm um, a good friend of the owner. I'm pretty much the only worker there. 
Um, just me and him, we handle the shows, and there's just one girl that comes in on Saturdays. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is Mike from CD Constrictors. Peace. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button.